Alrighty guys, welcome back. It's Clint Panda here, and we have Empty, and it's actually Jagmar on my server, on my Tekken server, so you guys might know him from that. So. Hello. Yep, there he is. Okay, so we're actually in Diablo 3 today, something I haven't recorded before, and this should be kind of fun. We're going to go ahead and show you guys a secret cow level, which is kind of a, kind of a thing in Blizzard games, isn't it? Uh, yes, it was a major thing in uh, Diablo 2, even though technically there was no secret cow level in this game. It is a secret level. Brilliant. Okay, so the way you get it is, I think you get a staff, right? A staff? There we go. We popped it in chat. So it's a, it's a really cruddy staff, but as you can see, the description says, Only one bovine in all of Sanctuary could possibly have a use for this. And it's bind account on pickup, so you can't really sell it. But we can use it. Uh, yes, and the way you obtain said item is in Act 4, there's a monster that has a chance of dropping it, the plans for it, which you take to the blacksmith artisan, teach it to him, and he will then tell you you need Wurtz Bell, um, Black Mushroom, Liquid Rainbow, Gibbering Nothing Gemstone and Leoric Shinbone. Now, all five of these items are obtainable in the game, four of which you obtain in the four different acts of the game. Um, for most part, it's all Act One. What can I do to help you? I admire. Thanks for the well, but uh, works the cowbell. Bag. You actually obtain that in Act Three. And that you have to pay a hundred thousand gold to buy it from a merchant. Now, once you have all five of the items, you can then take uh, everything you need to the blacksmith and combine it to make the staff of herding for about fifty thousand gold. So in total, it'll cost you one hundred and fifty k. Yeah, that's a crap ton of gold. Um, me after playing, and I'm this is not that much, I guess. I'm level twelve, and I guess by your level, you probably have a ton, but I'm. I have 20k by level, by level um 12. So who knows? Actually, it's not that difficult to obtain gold, um, especially once you gain access to the higher difficulties. Uh, for the most part, in ni uh, normal, you will find gold drops of roughly 150 maximum. Okay, that's not bad then, yeah. No. Okay. Here's the magical cow. Goes to the cow king. We see you have brought the item. We are utterly pleased. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Cows don't talk. Unless my disintegrate spell been working on my wits instead of my enemies? And you are a stinking bag of flesh with no fur. This is no time to be silly. The level of sparkling happiness and rainbows. That's just sketchy. That's just sketchy. You mean the cow level? No! There is no cow level. No. Ma. Uh, excuse me. Move along. That's good. All right. And we now have access to Whimsy Shire, I'm the land of myth mystical rainbows and unicorns and Oh my god. Teddy oh bears. my god. And I'm dead. <laughs> Instantly. Okay, I should have let you fight a little bit before I come in. But that's okay. And this is one of the lovely things about Diablo 3. They allow you to resurrect people. Oh, cool. I was not aware of those first few times that I got killed. <laughs> Great. Um, so the thing about in here, I think you can you can break these things and you get a, a crap ton of things. Oh, there's the My Little Ponies. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. Oh, it just blew up everywhere. Oh. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, and this is randomly generated as well every time you start a new map. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, the layout of every level and dungeon is going to be randomly gener generated. There is a certain kind of limit to the way they can do things with the random generation. Yeah. Uh, if you played Diablo 2 enough, you would know this. Never played Diablo 2, so... <laughs> But yeah, this uh, place is just I've, awesome. I've played it for many years. I'm I'm a uh, veteran Blizzard fan. Yeah, he he plays everything basically. <laughs> I've been around. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm basically just picking up loot and watching you kill things, because you are level 48, and I'm level... low level. <laughs> so, probably shouldn't be Actually, here. Actually, I'm not really doing most of the killing. I'm just kind of running around in a circle with all my Hydra over there. Oh, fuck. Mm. <laughs> Except when you die. Oh. Then I whip out the laser. The laser. Alright, cool. I'm back. This place is crazy. Lots of gold. I'm happy the, yes. about the gold. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you're seeing the same thing I am, but I'm also getting pages of jewel crafting and blacksmithing to draw. Oh, I've got. I think I got one last time we came in here. I haven't gotten them since this time. So I'm. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for those because they are good, right? Jewel crafting. I've got. Yes. That's the one I got yes. last time. Uh, they are actually used in leveling up a low level in jewel crafting and blacksmithing mm -hmm. artisan. And uh, they are also used in the uh, recipes for some of the stuff. Okay. Yeah, because I, I know that I, I have a bunch of... I've been salvaging all my blue items, because that's what my friend told me to do. So, um, I have a ton of those little essence things, or whatever they're called. Yep. Yeah, so I think I should just like hold on to those, right? So I can make things out of them? Is that how it works? Yes, you can uh, turn around, use the essences to make items, low-level items. Um, there is a Nightmare, Hell, and I'm pretty sure Inferno level equivalent of the essences. Oh, okay, yeah, because I have, I got one thing, it's like an eye or something, I think? Yes, it that is from, uh, like, Nightmare difficulty item. Um, that's a uh, rare, because the uh, low-level version... Is a fallen tooth. Yeah, I've got I've got a few of those as well. Yeah, I I seem I seem to be getting a lot of blues and stuff in here, so I'll probably go and salvage yes. those. That that is uh, one of the primary things people will come into the secret level is to farm items and experience. Although you're probably not getting that much experience with me no, being in here at forty eight. <laughs> I, I really don't want to be too boosted. Really, I, I'm just kind of in here to check it out. You know, don't want to ruin the game completely. That's kind of nice that they. They make it so I can kind of take a look. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, these things have about 2,000 life each. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> nope, can't do that. <laughs> I think I do ones to them. <laughs> uh, with their defense, probably. Oh, here's a uh, blue name oh, mob. Oh my god. There's so many friggin' ponies. <laughs> Normally this would be a good thing. Oh, and I'm dead. Uh, it's okay. I got revenge. Oh no. Um. How how many times can I die before I start getting like losing my items? Really? Oh, my items are damaged. Never mind. <laughs> yes. Every time you die, they take ten percent durability loss. Now it's not ten percent of the total durability. It's ten percent mm -hmm. of current durability. So if it's at oh, okay. fifty of a yes, hundred, you lose five. So over time, it is not as bad. Okay. But the thing is, that what happens when they lose all their durability? I am not sure. I've not gotten to that point yet. Because um, <laughs> yeah. every time I'm in town, because my bags are full, I just turn around, sell stuff, repair. Yeah. Just do it all in one go. One stop shop. Yeah, I should. I, I haven't needed to since I came. The only time I've died is when I've been here. So <laughs> these are my first deaths. <laughs> ooh, well, ooh. I'm glad I could. Uh, Support you in that. Uh huh. Why? Well, thank you. That's that's what I've always wanted. You know, just die a bunch. <laughs> how how large is this level, by the way? Do you know? Uh, not too large. Mm hmm. Okay. At least not like infinite. Squish. <laughs> I I think I'm just gonna start picking up blues and yellows at this point, so I can, cause I I'm just have so many items. <laughs> oh, and the rubies and stuff. I guess. Yeah. Uh, whites and grays are not worth picking up. Yeah. I mean, uh, even in everyday play, is that... Yeah, yeah. They sell for a like minuscule amount of gold. <laughs> three gold. They get more just walking around here. Exactly, exactly. Oh, You're better point. off just holding on to blue items and either selling them to a vendor or uh, yeah, something salvaging. like that. Yeah, yeah. Because right. I, don't, I don't salvage every single blue or yellow that I find. Oh. Yellows, I will turn around, and uh, if it's good enough stats, I think somebody else may want it. I'll put it on the auction house, try and get some more money out of it. Yeah. 
Do you have you made any like actual real money or no? No, no, they have not opened up the uh, real money auction house yet. They're going to try and let the economy establish uh, a little bit, right? Kind of. Um, I think it's more of they're trying to get the uh, system finalized per se for legal reasons. I'm not oh. sure. I have not read into it. Yeah. This is all just kind of my brain mm -hmm. randomly throwing words together to try and attempt to make a complete sentence. Because, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that Oh wow, that pot of gold had like no gold in it. <laughs> it makes sense that they would have a bunch of legal concerns about it because it's something that isn't really, it hasn't been done before really, right? So... No, I mean the only reason they are even trying to do this is to circumvent the Chinese gold farmers. Yeah, yeah. I mean if you know anyone that has played WoW, they'll tell you about how bad it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there were servers that first thing I do as soon as I get on is read through 10 different messages that a random oh, yeah. game generated character sent me saying hey come to our website buy gold yeah I've played quite a bit of you know and pretty much any MMO has such a problem so I yeah. mean and in this game they've made it so gold isn't such a big issue as well isn't that that's probably true right well, I, in the previous ones, gold had pretty much no um, economic value. Yeah. I, I know in Diablo 2, because my friend played that some, he told me about how like gold was just not worth picking up even. He just had yeah. so much of it. Yeah. I mean, you could... Uh, if you really wanted gold for whatever reason it was, you could turn around and just go do uh, runs on static spawn monsters such as mm -hmm. bosses like Bale yeah. in Act 5. I mean, I have done probably several thousand Bale runs, and each run you could probably get about 200k gold. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's no issue about that. This place's music is really strange. <laughs> Are you hearing this? Yeah, yeah. The first time I got in here, I Ugh. was trying to make sure that I was not on uh, some kind of illegal substance. <laughs> exactly. This is trippy as hell, man. <laughs> it's just weird, like, because the rest of Diablo, like, pretty much all of it is just dreary as hell. I mean, since well, you've, the, you've been... The mostly. main reason they uh, did this, in my opinion, <laughs> is because back during the beta, somebody... Uh, there's a big controversy about how the game was too colorful. So one of the uh, devs turned around and supplied a screenshot to the forums of a unicorn farting out a rainbow. <laughs> wow. Yes, this would happen. <laughs> of course. Yeah, and uh, ever since then, it was kind of a uh, little inside joke for Blizzard and whatnot about the game being too colorful, which is why I think they designed this level to be the way it is yeah this is this is just awesome i like this a lot actually <laughs> oh i just think it's it's really dreary like the normal game i i mean i like it and all kind of fits the mood for this the that it should be in this game but it's a little bit a little bit too a yellow oh you got a yellow uh it, yellow monster oh okay yeah the thing is that we see different drops is that yeah that's right yes looting is oh, instant fuck. so uh if i if we kill uh, the yellow flower I just killed, mm -hmm. um, you may see two blue items. I may see four yellows. Yeah, it's random. Yeah, I like that a lot. So you don't, or you aren't really like ever fighting over loot. Or you can't claim someone stole your loot or something like that. Exactly, nice. exactly. Which I thoroughly enjoy for the fact of I can no longer be the loot whore I was in the <laughs> field. I literally ran around with my. Uh, alt button taped down so I didn't have to hold it and as soon as I saw anything other than white I clicked on it and it was in my bag yeah cuz they didn't have the they didn't have the separate looting so yeah, yeah. I mean and <laughs> it, it was uh, very advantageous for me to do it like that the way I do it here is they have an option where you can just toggle it yeah. you hit it once and it shows everything on the ground all the time yeah. You can also have it where it shows everything on the ground for 10 seconds. That's what I have on. Not think, at all. Do you think I should leave it so it's always on? or I leave it so it's always on, so that way I don't have to second look. Yeah. yeah. 
it just makes doing uh, runs real easy. Also helps you find gold easier, in my opinion. It's yeah. just it works for me. Do what you, works you have for a tag you. over it. Yeah, I'm, I haven't run into any issues with it really yet. So I'll probably leave it until I, I really need to change it. Because I haven't really gotten into any of the crazy, crazy like run stuff like that. I don't have a character good enough for that. <laughs> Considering <laughs> my computer was out of commission for two days. Yeah, I, I haven't talked about that. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, there's uh, different things you can do with that. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm pretty much full inventory. I'm probably going to head back to town now, sell some crap, you know. Um, what do I do with these pages of jewel crafting that I have? I've got two of them. Okay, what you can do is use them after you collect ten you can use them to train the jewel crafter. Okay. The, uh, the jewel crafting socketer mm -hmm. artisan, whatever he's called, I'm not entirely sure. So what does that get you? Like, What's the benefit of doing that? Every time you train him, he levels up. You can make stronger and stronger gems. Oh, okay. So I like, should keep uh, all my gems that I have right now. Correct. I mean, you can take uh, chipped emeralds, Take three of them, combine them to make flawed emeralds. Take three flawed, combine them to make an emerald. Take three emerald, combine them to make a flawless. Take three flawless, combine them to make a perfect, which I do not have one. <laughs> but right. if you combine three perfect and so on and so forth, I mean, yeah. they just get even stronger and stronger. Oh. So these things, you socket them into weapons? Correct. Uh, oh, okay. You can take, like, rings, uh, offhand items... Yeah, helmets. I think I should get a socketed ring weapon. or something. Let me find that. Socketed I did ring, find a rare wizard hat. A rare wizard hat, nice. Yes, uh, each class has its own um, set Ooh. of items it can equip. Like, um, let's see, my warlock's terminus here. Mm -hmm. Offhand wizard only item. Yeah, I've got like little dolls that I can hold. Correct. Kind of little dolls, little voodoo dolls and whatnot. You also hold, can hold in your primary hand sacrificial daggers. Uh -huh. And, um, oh shoot, I think there was one other item. I'm not sure. I know demon hunters can hold a uh, magic, uh, a hand crossbow, uh -huh. as well as a uh, quiver. You know, yeah. just one in one hand, one in the other. Yeah. And they also have a certain chest item called a cloak that they can wear. Barbarians mm -hmm. get a belt. Um, I'm not sure what demon hunters get. Because, I mean, here's a uh, warrior belt, barbarian belt that I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, the thing is that I, I just picked up this thing called a clever eye of focus. Do you know what that does? Oh, follower. Okay. Yes, those are uh, follower items. Like, I have this relent or restless scrying glass of slaughter. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it'll say on there, like, mine, magic enchantress focus. Yeah. So you just either talk to them down here, give it to them, or when you're playing single player, you can hit F, open up the inventory, and hand it to them that way. Yeah, it seems like I don't have anyone high enough level to do that, so I'll go ahead and hold on to those two. And then, yeah. oh, I don't have enough slots. Is it worth buying more slots, or what do you think? Yes, it is worth buying more slots. I've bought everything on the first page uh, for 10k each uh, two rows. Yeah, I just, I just bought another. So I've spent slots. 40k on it already, and I need to save up and uh, buy the next tab, which is going to cost 100k. God. Okay, that's that's insane. <laughs> that is literally insane. All right. It, um, it is at this point, uh, once you get toward... Uh, you know, uh, nightmare and uh, nightmare hell and inferno difficulties. Gold is going to be more frequent, uh -huh. as I was saying earlier. Gold and normal, you'll see maximum of about a hundred, maybe two hundred. Okay. You'll see that on average mm -hmm. in nightmare, and wow. in hell, you'll see you know probably a couple of thousand drop at a time, mm -hmm. and in inferno, you'll probably see several thousand drop at a time. Okay. Cool. So how how do you how are you putting these items into the chat? Uh, if you open up the chat interface and then shift left click on the item. There. Yep. Is that item good? Any good? Should I bother with that at all? 
Like that is actually it. a fairly decent item minus, um, you know, the golden health pickup. That's not really that big of a <laughs> yeah. deal. The thorns damage of, uh, you know, melee attackers take six damage per hit. That's not really yeah. all that important of a stat for a caster because um, mm -hmm. we're not going to be in the thick of it. Yeah. Unless you design your character to be melee. Which you could do. You could do. It is a viable option, and that's what Blizzard wanted. Yeah. Uh, the gold going to help you, you know, increase your bank account. Uh, critical hit damage is an excellent stat to have. Um, basically, every time you critical, you will have 13% more damage on those criticals. Okay, so should I should I bother putting it into the auction house? Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> All right, to access the auction house, you will have to leave the game. Oh, okay. So I probably won't record that. I'll, I'll, I'll try and do it later, maybe. I'll, I'll yeah. figure it out, and then... Then I might do a video on it later. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. That was the, the cow level. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. And thank you, Empty. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye.